What's up guys? Welcome back to A Trucker's Life. I'm Jorge Navarro. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, welcome back guys. And unfortunately, yesterday I was not able to go out and uh, do a video for Memorial Day. This is a bit late, but better late than never, they say. And this is going to be a little different. It's not for, um, I didn't get to make it to the to the uh, cemetery and somebody did bring it to my attention did not not all um, not not everybody is buried at a military cemetery passed away in line of duty and I do understand that and whatever way I mean it's I really respect the everything they did for this country and uh, just it is it's very impressive I mean I just uh, lost words like y'all are seeing right now <laughs> But anyways, I'm out here in my electric XP, out here in my, uh, see, getting around, getting around, getting out of the truck. Finally, finally we get some sun, it's beautiful, and uh, what better way to uh, do a tribute to Memorial Day than coming to a fire station. I went inside, talked to the firefighters, they said that I can go ahead and walk around and take video of all these trucks, and I am in Evandale. Ohio right now and these are some of their beautiful fleet right here I know nothing about these type of trucks I know nothing about fire trucks but I figured that some of you Jeremy you know what all this is you know what all these all these uh well uh what it bells and whistles that yeah, can't get the words out um, are on all these trucks um but yeah anybody can always appreciate a beautiful fire truck and guys have you ever thought about that i mean i know a lot of you probably have right but these are the only guys that go in to the into the trouble not run away from the trouble um these are the ones that go in there and you know take care of everybody go in there get anybody that needs to get um out of the fire and they pull them out and it's just amazing now yes we can see is this is a memorial um day for 9 11. 9 11 a lot of our uh, brave firefighters were lost and uh unfortunately but they were going in to do their job what they were trained to do to go save lives and which is absolutely amazing i remember that day i was a uh, car salesman at that time and i walked into the driver's meeting i mean driver's meeting uh, the salesman's meeting i walked into the salesman meeting and everybody was just sitting down and staring at the tv and i was like i asked one of my friends i said what, what's going on and he's like uh man we're getting attacked and uh the feeling that just uh my heart just sank the moment that i that i heard that and uh, when i saw that first tower i mean the second tower fall because that's when I showed up uh, to the meeting. It was just, uh, it, it was extremely sad. And uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know what to do. Um, but these are the guys, a lot of these guys lost their lives inside the World Trade Center. And I know this is not a 9-11 uh, Memorial Day, but it's a memorial for everybody that has, to me, in my mind, in my heart, it is for everybody that has died in the line of duty whether it's a police officer, firefighter, or beautiful military men and women. And uh, to me, this is what this actually represents is the, uh, is, is, you know, remembering our fallen and even remembering our own, you know, our uh, family members that have passed away. And uh, it's just, you know, to me, that's what today represents, not barbecues or hot dogs or any of that stuff to me it represents sitting down reflecting and being thankful for what all these people have put their lives on the line for and uh, some of them unfortunately have lost their lives and uh, to them I thank you so much so I'm gonna walk around and uh, do some b-roll of all these beautiful fire trucks this is the beautiful fire station um, the firefighters are actually in there doing um, he said uh, they're annually, so they're in there working out and doing all kinds of different stuff. And uh, here's some of the equipment. You guys have seen these, especially that there on, uh, especially on like truck accidents. You see those on trucking accidents. And then, uh, of course, you got your, your dummy. Not me, that one. Not me, that one. 
But anyways, and then you got all your hoses out here that are that are laid out. People out right on, on the motorcycles. Oh yeah. Having a wonderful time. So yeah, let's cut to the B-roll. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the montage of all these beautiful trucks. And it was funny because I, I asked, I said, please, please flag, start waving. And look at that. It started, it started waving for the video. That's amazing. The wind just all of a sudden picked up and it started, started flying, flying mighty. There it is right there. <laughs> Not as windy as it, as it could be, it could be a little bit, bit more, but hey, beggars can't be choosers and it's doing its thing and it's uh, flying up there. Well, it has staff, sorry, half staff right now because I think of what's going on with the coronavirus and all that stuff. And these guys too, guys, these are another ones that were also, you know, involved in doing all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's just the endless amount of jobs that these guys have. Paramedics, they put out fires, uh, search and rescue, scuba i don't know if they do scuba i think i don't know if they all do um i'm not like i said i don't know a whole lot about firefighters but they do i do know that they do those type of things and um uh, yeah so from here from the beautiful emmondale fire department in uh, ohio it is right there guys thank you guys again for joining me i know this wasn't a long video but then again it was just something that i wanted to do for um our uh, you know people that we have lost as far as uh, military men and women uh, firefighters and uh, it's just to me it's 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 an honor to be able to do this type of stuff and uh, you know just love it so with that being said guys don't forget to be kind to one another help anybody needs help anybody contemplating suicide 1-800-273-8255 military men and women and firefighters thank you so much for your service we appreciate that see you guys on the next video peace and I'm out of here